Well, I take no responsibility for this. It was John Proudfoot's idea, of it, as it was his idea to do the Real Meal Revolution. And that book was so successful, we realized that if we wanted to make South Africans healthy, what the real meal had done was to say, if you're obese or got type 2 diabetes, you want to get healthy, this is what you need to do. But then we realized that if we wanted our children to be healthy, we needed to start at a much younger age. And that if we got the choices of food correct right from the word go, we would never have to have diabetes. We wouldn't have to have fat children. So that's the goal of this book, is to make our future generations extremely healthy, not to have to have obesity and diabetes like the generations that preceded them, but also to raise them in the best possible way so that they've got the best potential to be the most complete people that they can be. And that's where the title comes, Raising Superheroes. Because we think if you raise people properly on the right foods, from the moment the mother falls pregnant, she's going to have a superhero. And that we think that the dietary advice we're getting is so wrong that it is the direct cause of our children never achieving what they could potentially become. And not only do that, but of course they develop obesity and diabetes. So this is our solution, to make sure that the future generations can be the healthiest they possibly can be.